Hello again, Perry Lawrence here of AskMrVideo.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up multiple websites using a reseller account. A reseller account is really the fastest and most economical way to have multiple websites. And I've got a host account with HostGator.com and they use a tool called WHM, Web Host Manager. Go to your site, your reseller site name, slash WHM, and you're presented with this login form. So now we're going to just sign in and get started. Now, okay, here we go. Here's the WHM control panel. And really, it's very easy, not very intimidating at all, because you only really need to do two things to get started. You need to add a package, and then you need to create an account. Create a new account. So if we've if we're just starting out and this is the first time we're running it all we need to do is click add a package and really we're going to define the hosting parameters for all our accounts you can have multiple packages you can have an economy package deluxe platinum unlimited mega economy whatever you want to do so what i'm going to do is show you since this is for my personal use i'm just going to show you the package that i've created my one default package and really that's all you need to get started and this is what webmasters all over the world use so it's not really um, uh, it, it's a well proven tool but it's it's pretty straightforward okay now what I've done is uh, on my basic package all I've changed is the quota I've set that to 50 megabytes and the bandwidth to a thousand megabytes that's easy uh, easily adequate for uh, any beginning websites. Um, as my sites grow, I can expand each site individually. I'm um, going in there and tweak the uh, the quota and the bandwidth. Okay, so now that we have our package defined, we can begin adding all of our accounts. Let's go to create new account, and really this is where you'll be coming every time after you've set up your package. Okay, so let's. Uh, type in the domain name now this is the domain name you purchased at GoDaddy or wherever GoDaddy is the one I use it's easy it's fast and so let's type out the domain name perryssite.com okay it automatically assigns me a username but I can change that and let's give it a password okay all right, now that we've got our domain name set, perryssite.com, and that's a domain I've purchased at GoDaddy. Username, type out my username, and a password. We're going to leave the IP address as auto assign, and the package, we're going to select the package that we created. And the contact email is going to be where all the system emails get sent. System emails like uh, quota overrun, bandwidth overrun, hopefully you won't get any of those scroll down here and I want to show you why I think this is one of the most economical ways to host your websites you saw my mainline basic package that I uh, created 50 megabytes and a thousand megabytes of bandwidth per month and I've got six installed already I've got a max left of 43 and I've already tweaked some of the those sites that have uh, larger allocations but again over 50 sites for $24 a month. It's really not a bad deal at all. Highly recommend it. Alright, so now I'm going to hit create and what WHM is going to do now, it's going to do all the allocating. It's going to set up my emails, set up my FTP sites, it's going to generate my username, my passwords, and what it's also going to give me is my name server. This is the important thing. This will also get emailed to the account email that you gave it. But what I'm going to do is copy this and I would want to go over now to GoDaddy and paste that in the name server slot. Very easy to do in your account manager over at GoDaddy. So those are the two name servers you want to copy. ns211.websitewelcome.com And those are the name servers. Yep. Okay, my account is already completed. And really, that's all there is to it. I would log out here, take these... Uh, domain name server numbers and put those in the uh, GoDaddy slots the appropriate GoDaddy slots and now I've got a website 
and really it is just that easy. Um, after the name server propagates, I can log on to my website and log on to my cPanel and install Joomla. I can install WordPress. I can install a number of things through the extension Fantastico. And I will do another website screencast on a cPanel and Fantastico and show you just how easy it is to create a, a site in just a matter of minutes. So that wasn't too hard, was it? All right, my name is Perry Lawrence, and I'm AskMrVideo.com.